makes the system to work with the grain of the horse. If you get with an Arabian and you show them the flag and they give a little effort and you take it away, and then you bring it back and you take it away, you'll desensitize that horse for 10 years and it'll still be running. It'll still be spooked. But if this horse was to blast off right now, I would go step for step with her until she stopped and her release would come from her stop. Same thing, as soon as she passes the test, we just make it bigger. appreciate her freezing up and not moving. I imagine this is her favorite speed forward. <laughs> All right. As soon as I get the horse freezing up, obviously this horse doesn't want to move. Great. <laughs> Everybody here is studious or you wouldn't be here listening to to the experts that are coming today. So if you're here in 2019 and you're studious, you know that flexing a horse is a good thing. And you know desensitizing a horse is a good thing. Everybody agree? Yes? Okay. Both of these things at a standstill is about as valuable as the steering wheel and brakes in a parked car. When's the last time that you got hurt at a standstill? That you hadn't been drinking too much. <laughs> so we all get hurt in motion. So once I can teach the horse to freeze, the next thing I wanna do is move their feet. Notice I'm not going to pull this horse in a straight line because a lot of horses can sole up, is what's the term we use? Freeze up and not move. But the first foot that moves just explodes and they can look calm like this. And the second that first foot moves, they pop. So the first thing we're going to do is turn that horse in a circle. Disengage those hind quarters, which is a fancy way of moving your butt. Disengage those hind quarters, no problem. Okay, so the steering wheel still works even though there's something scary on her back. There we go. Two things I want to see whenever there's something spooky. Do I still have a steering wheel? If she takes me redneck skiing across this round pin, she's not ready to ride. I don't care how broke she is. Because if something scares her and just a little fear says, oh, you're not controlling me anymore. Well, that tells me if she gets spooked when I'm on the trail, if she gets spooked when I'm in that arena, I won't physically be able to control her. But the fact that she has something scary on her back, and I did turn her, good job. Other thing, I want to make sure that she can back, even though there's something spooky on her back. Guys. That test right there, that test right there that you just saw, that wasn't too painful, was it? It wasn't too bad, all right? 